is a sledgehammer. Hey YouTube, it's Derek Anner. Today we are working on episode number 13 of Let's Play Final Fantasy. Uh, this game was originally on the NES, like I said before, and I am playing it on the PSP. Today we are... Well, I thought we were going to go take the Levy Stone and get the airship, but I was wrong. Um, I ended up finding the castle where you get something rather special that helps increase your power level. Wait, no, this is the Drag Bubble. Hmm. Well, we get something that helps us out. And so I was just trying to find uh, my way over. I think I was just trying to find my way over to the desert, but I ended up stumbling on this castle instead. So I decided to say, you know what? I bet you I can do it. And did it, I did. Took actually a really long time to go through and do it all. Uh, there were many, many, many takes. Well, by takes, I mean like times I went in a giant circle because I picked the wrong pad. And I edited together. Well, I edited out all the uh, wrong ones I did, and let just left the one good run I had all the way to the to the end. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Uh, first, we gotta take out these white crocs. Hey, well, those don't look like a type of shoe I can wear. Huh? Whatever. You could probably make shoes out of them, but could you call them Crocs? Hmm, crocodile skin? That's a good question. It looks like I'm having some serious issues with slowdown right now. Oh, back up to about 60 frames, 50, 50 to 60, that's not terrible. Dropping down with some special effects. That's manageable, but it was definitely no spoil when it was down to 20, 20, 20 frames per second. And apparently that's what uh, the original Ocarina of Time ran at, or the original version of Ocarina of Time. Oh, look, there's some more artifacts. Um, I, I guess that area's just harder to run. <laughs> uh, you can definitely tell when it slows down, the music gets all, we all weird. But I think that's to keep the music in sync with the video. Every once in a while, it plays a little faster than it should, and it plays a little slower, it plays a little faster, but it, oh, it uh, pretty much averages out to running at 100%. You don't really notice when the frames drop to 30, at least that's what I'm getting when I was doing the recording. Uh, I did some transcoding to drop it down to 30 frames per second, and that seems to help uh, hide some of the... Uh, dropped frames that I was getting, so. Oh, but it does not help with those random black bars that run across the screen. So where am I going? Wherever it is, it involves random battles with, um, Sea Haggins? Sahagin? 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 And a Sahagin Chief? Um, I have no idea what those are. One of these days I should just go and look up all the different uh, enemies that you can encounter in Final Fantasy just to understand what the origins of all the uh, enemies are which would definitely go a long way to understanding like uh, strat like to figure out a strategy to use against them so uh, maybe I did have it in mind to go to the castle. Honestly, it's been, uh, it's been a really long time since I actually uh, made this recording. Uh, I didn't have a good place to do much other or do anything other than play. So, oh, a little bit of editing because I went in like probably a big circle. Oh, hey, look, there's that castle. You know what? Let's go do it. Huh, I'm back on the ship. What? Oh, I'm fighting on land. What? No. Oh, just, just glitches. Just some glitches. Don't worry about it. So. 
Oh, there we go. There's a saber tooth. But I thought they looked. Well, I guess maybe that's just maybe magic. Hmm. You would think they'd look a little more like like maybe a tiger or a lion, not just dark fur. Like a well, not a leopard. Um. I forget. Well, leopard is the right name. That's panther. There we go. Pretty sure panthers are just uh, leopards with really dark fur. In fact, I do believe panthers have spots. It's just hard to tell. No, you have a crown. Oh, what crown is it? Oh, whatever. I got a crown. Let's go. Might be the crown for the elf king. Hmm. Or maybe it's just something random I picked up somewhere. I don't remember. And that chair begins the teleporting. And then you go there. And then that, the, the first two are like easy, and then you gotta. There we go, you hear the music. There, that's. And then there again, I was picking the best uh, path to where I was going. I was, uh, wasn't really caring that it was for different runs because. Or maybe I was. Um, well, there are, there are a couple times where it doesn't take you straight to the beginning and it just takes you right back there, so. I just made the, made, not the run, but made the path as I went. Like, edited it, edited it, edited it. As I went, just to show. And I did my best to make it look nice, but I, it was kind of hard to make the music sync. So I decided to go with make the video sync instead. Sure, I guess I could have smoothed it over with some uh, sound effects. Whatever. Man, I'm just... Uh, many problems with just playing this, huh? Let's see if fire will do anything damaging against the golems. And in all actuality, I'll probably just make them even stronger. I don't think... No, we get to find out. But make them out of... Glassware instead. Eh. Fire apparently wasn't the best option. Didn't do that much damage. Huh. Oh, we got some gauntlets. Cool. Now I gotta see if I can equip them. Because of course I do. Um, can anybody use these? I don't think anybody could. And then there's another edit because I went wandering around somewhere else and went the wrong way. I think. Horned devils. Pretty sure, like, you know, most depictions of devils have horns. Huh. Fire, some little fire agra should help take care of these devils. But wait, don't they live in hell? Which is really, really hot. Maybe a blizzard attack would have been a better idea. Looking back, it's easy to be like, huh, maybe that's what I should have instead. And random encounter. Mind flares. Those should be easy-ish to take care of. And they use mind blasts. I wasn't able to get two of them all. But I, hey, they missed. Well, oh, Fire Roger should do a definitely good job against taking the guys, the rest of these guys out. Hey, we are uh, not too bad. Oh, almost went the wrong way. I wonder what's in that chest. But first, we gotta take care of our nightmares. So, you know, in uh, North mythology, that nightmares have eight legs. Yeah. So, there's that. They could have at least added a couple legs to those sprites. I mean, come on. Uh, healing staff, I do believe that comes in handy because that saves me on magic. Gotta take care of our nightmares again. Man, you guys have a lot of nightmares. What's troubling you all? Wait, don't tell me, I really don't want to know. And I decided to use the healing staff. I, I 
think, to... For some reason... Oh, the gauntlets are useful because they let you use lightning without using magic. Which was rather useful for the two warriors because then they can start using magic. Quotations. Magic. When they actually couldn't. But it was the power of an item. And it saves on magic. And it seems on, uh... Oh, it just saves magic. Oh, okay, there we go. Take care of them nightmares. And two steps. Oh! Some mummies that uh, throw a little uh, light at them, huh? Maybe? Or no. That's just a uh, little fire at them and a little heal at us. And that offset that a bit. And, of course, they missed, you know, just because their gamer's the best. That's not narcissistic at all. <laughs> now the fire seems to have done a rather good job taking care of them guys. And... There we go. We can run. Well, it was really nice. You, uh, they updated it so you could actually... Sprint, which is definitely a boom. So that means you don't have to sit there and walk, even within the, the dungeons. Okay, it kind of would have been nice if they would have made it so you could sprint on the overworld too, but eh. Well, what can you do? Play a different version, play different Final Fantasy. Yeah, well, I want to play this one. Go away. We got a little gill. Time to check these chests, perhaps. After we do a little heal, heal. Or a little magic. Get a little magic back, cause they, you know, they ran out. Maybe a little heal, heal. Thinking about it. Oh yeah. Nope. Wait, nope. Yeah, everybody seems to have a good amount of health. No point. Steel gloves. An ice brand. I believe that's some type of a whip. And ruby armlet. So a couple of those sound like something I can use. Like an ice brand. And we are going to go up against more mummies. How do you think a... Oh, well, no, I was going to say, how do you think a king mummy gets chosen? Like, huh, well, it's probably just the king that dies and gets mummified. But don't, can't they usually mummify royalty anyways? So, I'm not going to look too far into that. And Fyra, Fyra seems to be a uh, good, good attack against these guys. And once again, it proves its worth. Oh, hey, look, there's one of those chests that was point, you know, I was talking about one of the previous episodes where if you find it somewhere else, that chest is now empty, magically. I obtained a rat's tail? What good is that going to do me? Huh. Well, I guess I better hold on to it if I did find it in a chest. And, of course, before I leave, I have to do a little, uh, Random encounters. Because reasons. And I don't think I can pronounce the names of these guys. Rak Rak Raksha Rakshaza? Rakshaza. That's probably really wrong. There's probably somebody out there who's going to point it out. Maybe. Hopefully, because that means I actually get viewer, in viewer interaction, which apparently is a good thing. Instead of me just sitting here being a crazy person, talking to nobody. And of course I'm trying to leave, and oh, it's a zombie dragon. Daya, probably. Dag, diga, diga. And it was super effective. Wait, no, this is, po this is not Pokemon. And you know what? I hope you guys will like, thumbs up, subscribe, 
Ring bells. Peace out.